Now, even though SUVs are becoming much more popular in the Indian market, the hatchbacks, they remain the favorite of the Indian buyers. Hyundai, which claims to be the one of the highest sellers of the SUVs in India, gets its major chunk of sales from a hatchback. And that hatchback is right here. Yes, it's a Hyundai Grand i10 Mios, and this is the updated version that Hyundai launched only a few days ago. Now, just like all of the facelifts from Hyundai, this comes with a lot of changes visually and in feature wise as well. So, stay tuned till the end of this video, and we will make sure that we will tell you all about this new Hyundai Grand i10 Neos. Now, starting with the changes of the new Hyundai Grand i10 Neos, the first thing that catches your eyes is a new larger grille at the front. It gets a gloss finish and it looks really, really sporty and it goes very well with the overall character of the car. Extending on both the sides are the new LED DRLs, the Tri-Arrow DRL. They are also very cool looking and it gives a distinctive identity to the new Grand i10 Neos. Also, this new Hyundai logo, it caught my eyes. This is a brushed aluminium metal finish and it looks really, really premium to the car. Now, coming to the side of the vehicle, before we come to the side of the vehicle, let me tell you that these headlamps and the bonnet and the clamshell bonnet, it remains the same. You still get the uh, projector, but these are not LED headlamps. These are normal halogens. On the sides, you get a new 15-inch alloy wheel. It's a dual-tone alloy wheel. And just like all other Hyundai model, this looks very, very attractive. You also get the ORVMs with integrated turn indicators apart from that you get a chrome handlebar which requests sensor everything else on the side profile it remains the same you also get this uh, roof rails you cannot put any load on them they are just for show but they really make the grand i10 neos look very very cool and sporty there's a lot more changes in the rear of the car just like the tri arrow led dr that you saw in the front, you get a newly shaped tail lamp and it extends right to the side of the vehicle. It is a massive looking tail lamp, especially for a car of this segment. Now you also get a new reflective strip which connects both the tail lamps and they look very, very cool, especially when there is a light falling on them at night. You get massive, massive logos around here, including the variant which most manufacturers have stopped giving nowadays. There is a small camera right here and we will show you how it works and what the quality is. So let's quickly jump inside the vehicle and show you what the new Grand i10 Neos offers differently. Now we are starting with the rear seats of the new Hyundai Grand i10 Neos and since the dimensions of this car remain the same, the space inside the vehicle also remains the same. However, what has changed is the fabric of this vehicle. It has become much, much more premium. It also gets a lot of knee room as you can see right here. And on the longer journeys, you will be able to keep your feet under the front driver's seat or the front, front co-passenger seat. There is not much a problem, space problem right here. There's a small transmission tunnel, which means a third person can be squeezed around here uh, as well. However, on longer journeys, the third passenger might not feel quite comfortable because there is no headrest for the other two passengers. However, you do get two adjustable headrest, but there is no armrest. Coming to the features, you get two AC vents, and a charging socket here you also get a seat pocket behind the co-driver seat and a bottle holder on both the seats uh, both the doors as well so that's about it in the rear seats let's jump to the front seat quickly and tell you all changes that the new grand i10 neos gets now jumping to the driver's seat of the new hyundai grand i10 neos you will find that everything remains very much similar to the previous generation vehicle however hyundai has made some changes which makes it look very much fresher in the market first of all you get three new cabin tones the color of the dashboard there are three different tones and depending on the variant you can choose any one of them we have got the beige and the darkened one and we like this very much as well also you get a new gray tone seats and i really love the pattern of the seats 
and how uh, they hug you and the side bolsters basically of the seats as well so whenever you are taking the car around the corners these side bolsters they keep you in one place and i love them very very much also you get the neos patching with the seats which is an addition and makes it look very much sporty now since the cabin it remains the same visually hyundai has made a few changes and added a new feature list for example the uh, the instrument cluster even though it remains the same with two analog dials and one mid in between it now gets a tpms also in the new feature list comes a few safety feature lists like the airbags now the basic base variant of the new hyundai grand i10 neos it comes with four airbags and it remains standard across the range optionally you can choose two extra airbags for a total of six airbags apart from that you also get esc vsm you also get hill ascent control but that you get standard with the amt variant of the car apart from that you get a fully automatic climate control system and 8 inch infotainment system display which is connectable to android auto as well as apple carplay through the wire right here and this is also the first car in the segment to offer c type usb chargers keeping up with the times hyundai and that's a thumbs up for us you also get a wireless car charging system for supported phones. You can simply put your phone right here and your supported phone will charge uh, without any connections. Right in front of me, you get a leather wrapped steering wheel. Also, you get buttons on the steering wheel and uh, for the cruise control system and to control the in instrument cluster right here. So there are no physical buttons on the instrument cluster itself all everything you get on the steering wheel and it does feel very much premium very much sporty the quality of the buttons also they are very clickable and very nice even the horn i think it's very very nice to press you should not press the horn too much while driving though i like the clicking feature of this uh, horn very very much on the door pads you get hard plastics all over however we are not complaining anything here since this is what you get in this segment and hyundai has designed the car to look very much premium and youthful to the young customers that it gets now sitting on the driver's seat of the new hyundai grand i10 neos the first thing that you will notice is the steering wheel is adjustable you can adjust it for height However, you can't adjust for, for it for the reach. The driver's seat, you can't adjust any height. However, you, as all the cars, you can move it in the rear and do the forward. Now, let's quickly start the car. Oh, well, the car is already on. So, you know that how good the NVH level of this vehicle is. Now, sadly, Hyundai currently offers only one engine option with the new Grand Item Neos, which is the 1.2 liter naturally aspirated engine it generates a maximum power of 83 ps and peak torque of 114 nm now this is available with two transmission types one is the five speed manual and another is the five speed emt automatic currently we are driving the manual one so we will only talk about it additionally hyundai also offers a cng variant with the same engine however the power drops to 69 ps in the cng mode with the same engine now let's take a quick drive around this car and tell you all about it so you sit very comfortable in this new grand i10 neos the engine behavior it is very much similar to the last version of the grand i10 neos which means it's a naturally aspirated engine there is no turbo lag and it remains perfect for these city roads now coming to the steering wheel itself it is not very precise however it really doesn't matter since none of the car of this segment are meant for enthusiasts and it remains the same for the hyundai grand i10 neos as well however what it does very well is it weighs up very nicely like in the city traffic you will not feel that it's a very heavy steering wheel however like currently we are doing about 60 kmph on a highway open highway 
you do feel the weight of this car and what it what that does is it induces a lot of confidence in your driving and you feel that you can change lane very very safely so that's one thing i find very commendable about the new hyundai grand i10 neos apart from that coming to the suspension of the car itself i think hyundai has tuned it very well it's a very well balanced suspension or uh, it takes up the potholes very nicely you do not feel much of the potholes going under the carpet under the car and it's hard enough it's stiff enough to make sure that there is a minimal body roll so while you're taking high speed corners with confidence you can also go over the potholes without worrying much about the comfort itself in the rear also you do not feel much of the body roll which means it's a perfect car for families especially if you're planning to get to your weekend destination however it remains a very very perfect car for your daily commute nonetheless now a couple of things that i like the most about the new grand item neos is the gearbox it slots into the gears very very well there are no false changes so currently i'm in third gear i'm in fourth gear fifth so you see it it's like top notch quality also coming to the clutch it's not exactly very much light however it's very sharp so if you are driving through heavy traffic situation you will know where the bite point of this clutch exactly is and that's an additional point especially when you are driving in a start stop traffic apart from that hyundai sees that the grand item neos it is one of the highest fuel efficient cars in this segment now i have been driving this car in a very heavy traffic situation again from faridabad to noida and then i will go back there again currently it is showing around 15.3 kmpl however we have been shooting this vehicle with the engine on and at idling speed for a very very long time in the morning while i was bringing the car from faridabad it was showing close to 20 kmpl and i think it's a phenomenal for a petrol engine especially for a car in a heavy traffic situation so well done hyundai there as well Now the Hyundai Grand i10 Neos it starts at 5.69 lakh and goes up till 8.47 lakhs. Yes, the prices remain a little bit on the higher side. However, Hyundai has packaged this car very, very well. It gets almost all the features that you get in the segment plus a little bit extra as well, especially when it comes to safety. Now with this update. Hyundai will make sure that the Grand i10 Neos will remain fresh in the market for the next few years. Also, with the update, I think the fresh-looking Grand i10 Neos will remain a top-selling car in the market for the coming few years as well. What do you think about the new Hyundai Grand i10 Neos? Do let us know in the comment section below. And as always, do not forget to subscribe to the Car Talk channel and press the bell icon to get regular updates.